Well, the $12 billion Rent to Debt Sea project for replenishing the receding debt sea also includes plans for hydroelectric power stations and desalinated drinking water for Palestine, Jordan, and Israel. CGT and Stephanie Free takes us to Jordan and the site of what will be the biggest desalination plants in the world. We will be pumping from the Red Sea about 2 billion cubic meters a year. And in the full project, we are going to desalinate 900 million cubic meters a year. 900 million cubic meters of water is roughly the amount of water you'd find in 350,000 Olympic swimming pools. Most of that will go to water-starved Jordan. Jordan is one of the world's poorest countries when it comes to water resources. Here, water rationing is a way of life. So building a desalination plant, that's a way out of water woes. It will be built south of here along this desert road. It's being billed as the world's biggest desalination facility. Israel will be consulting with Jordanian colleagues on technical and procedural matters. The importance of this project also is that it will give Jordan an entry to the desalination world. We don't have much experience in desalination, while Israel has world-class experience, I think, or the best in the world. Water pumped north from the Dead Sea will be treated at the desalination plant and brine mixed with marine water will then be piped further north to the eroding Dead Sea. Remaining treated water will be earmarked for agriculture, industry and consumption. The brine mixture in the first project phase is expected to cut Dead Sea erosion by 33%. The Red to Dead Sea project for pumping hydroelectric power, replenishing and desalinating has been in planning stages for decades. Will it go through now? Uh, talking so long and so much about it uh, gave me personally the doubt that it will ever happen. It's doable. It's very much doable. I have confidence in, uh, in executing this first phase at least. Officials say the project will be in full commission in 2021. For CGTN, this is Stephanie Freed at the Dead Sea in Jordan.